Now this is a chapter of a, of the week. A chapter of a I mean this is how you start a chapter really when the, in the when you come back from the new year. Yes, the first Black Clover chapter of 2018. Black Clover chapter 140 to be exact. The Angry Anime fan here to bring you that chapter. And well, what can we say? We're introduced to the unknown guy that de- that appeared afterwards here. And let me tell you, his story is a little bit more uh, stranger than you thought. Uh, but then again, this is Black Clover, so things can always be strange. And apparently no one of the gang knows about him. We saw him first in Vanessa's flashback, but it appears that no one has ever, besides Yami of course, appears to have been aware that he even existed. And there might be a small reason for that. They question who is he. However, he just talks very slowly, so he doesn't have time to ask answer. And of course, pretty funny when uh, Gorsha says, uh, what are you doing in our base? Well, and Gray says, you never got the sense, you interrupted him. Not my fault. And here Sally says something very strange. She said something about, I heard it was only supposed to be three people around today. Where in the hell did she hear that the Black Bull had three? Are you telling me there really is a traitor in the Black Bull? I do not want to believe that. Or maybe it's just the fact that uh, the spy or whatever have, have told that um, there really only is a third in the Black Bull. Either way, Radius is arrogant as his puppet unleashes the magic. However, the guy uses his magic to change the escape of the, of the building. And it's revealed apparently his hair is home to a lot of birds. It's unknown if these are actually magic birds. I mean, we're introduced to, what, what, what were they called? Anti-birds? Those who flock around with... Wait, uh, no, no, not... How was it? Were those the kind of birds that flocked around uh, someone with a lot of mana or actually attacked someone with a lot of mana? Because Nero is uh, surrounding uh, Asta because he doesn't have any mana. Or maybe this is just regular birds. The fact that he has these birds is not exactly explained yet. I think it's just played for comedy on he keeps these birds on his body. Either way, Radius just keep on using the attacks. However, the guy changes the, the building and even managed to block the attack with the building itself. As he still ca- talks slowly. Gray, no, no, Gosh analyzes this magic as being the same as the old man uh, from the ocean um, temple used. You know, that game, temple games magic, where the rule of his magic, where he could control the environment and many things more. But in order to do that, you need to have strong familiarity from the things that you control. Meaning that this guy is not just some new recruit, he has been here, and we see his flashback. Turns out that this could very well be called the very first member of Black Bull recruited. Although unofficially, maybe. Because the reason why he's in this base is actually because of a tragedy. As he explains his flashback, Jami found this building and for some strange reason found the guy who was rumored to be the ghost. I mean this guy. Uh, What I mean to say strange about this is apparently that this house may very well have been known to be haunted. However, Yami, for some reason, actually managed to find him. And he says he had grown attached to this place, so he wanted to have it. The guy admitted that he could, that Yami could have it. However, he also mentioned he could no longer move. Because apparently the base guy had a strange illness. Even This is pretty strange, even by Black Clover standards. You all remember Captain Vengeance. He was apparently born with a curse... Uh, scar on his face. Well, why this guy does not have that kind of curse. Apparently his illness is the fact that he cannot leave the building. Or, more precise, he cannot leave it because he cannot absorb mana uh, naturally like others can. Or in more way of saying it, as long as people that is not him lives in this building, then he can keep on living because he can only the only way for him to keep on living is siphoning off magic power from other people very very slowly a strange illness was basically saying that he cannot survive on his own he needs others people's powers 
to survive. And that is why his, his magic is basically house remodeling, because um, he has lived in this building his entire life, and he needs uh, people in it. It's not exactly explained if he would completely drain everyone's magic, but it's basic, but it is still a very tragic disease, meaning that he doesn't want to steal other people's mana, but he has to in order to survive. So, uh, in a essence, is that ex is exactly the opposite of um, how people are living, because people replenish their mana naturally because mana is in the air. But this guy seems to be the opposite. He see, uh, he seems to only absorb mana mana from people, not from the air. Uh, it's just the same the fact that Asta is born with no mana because he's hated by mana. So he said to Jami that he could have this base if he only, in just a few days, because he would soon die. And he doesn't know if his parents abandoned him or or disappeared. However, Jami, you know, Jami is a pretty mysterious character, but that's why I really like about him. He is sometimes a jerk, but it's sometimes very thoughtful. And here he showed a thoughtfulness that at the same time a little bit jerkish. He said, uh, n well, it wasn't actually that jerkish, but he said that uh, no can do. You cannot be allowed to die because that would be a bad omen. I mean, that maybe sounds a little bit jerkish. <laughs> so you're going to have to live. And all you need to this this place is to be filled with healthy, vibrant humans regularly. So again, Jami is a really complex character, but it's truly that he is, cares more about people than than they uh, they think. And this is the ultimate proof of this. Because... He recruited strange people, but all of them have very high potential magic. So this guy, the base guy, basically has been allowed to live with the fact that everyone in the Black Bull base have been living in his home base. He has never introduced himself to the others, but he knows every one of them and every one of their names, because thanks to them he could survive. So he introduces himself, finally not slowing down as he opens his eyes. Eyes calling all of the members of Black Bull his precious comrades. The name of the ghost uh, of the base is none is Henry, a very long-haired guy, who uh, unfortunately is just uh, suffering from an illness. However, Radius do not care as he keeps on attacking. While Valtro seems to have found the stone, suddenly the building changes even more. Uh, and this time it ends pretty awesome as the base morphs even more, creating shock from not only the backbone members, but from the members of uh, White Knight Team and I, as the building changes into a, a, a bull-like figure, well, a minotaur, well, let's just say a kaiju uh, place, morphing into what is called the re magic model, Black Breaching Bull. As Henry proclaims, anyone who hurts my comrades, I will never forgive them. Oh, that's so awesome. The building itself is a weapon. I did not see that coming. I really did not see that coming. A building is a weapon? I mean, I thought that building was just a raggedy, old, dusty, and nearly broken up. How can that building really work? However, it, that's Henry's magic. Basically, reimagining magic. And everything, he, since he has lived in this house forever, he knows everything about it. Therefore, he can control it on every whim. And now he has morphed that build, that place into a big looking bull like creature. And he proclaims he will not forgive those that hurt his friends. Yeah, this is a pretty hard womanness that he is very thankful for all of his, uh, the comrades that thank, the thanks to him allowed him to survive. Henry, the new member of Black Bull, I think we could call him the unofficial members of Black Bull, right? Is introduced. It's not explained if he's the vice captain, though. Because, again, do Black Bull really have a vice captain? However, this guy, yeah, I like him. He is uh, loyal to his friends, despite having never we, be, we, been with them. And he's thankful for them for having saved his life. Um, but he's also saddened by the fact that he must take magic from other people just in order to survive. And the fact that he can never ever leave that building. However, the fact that no one has ever met him is pretty strange. I mean, again, we saw him in Vanessa's flashback. So how come they never saw him then? Maybe because they never paid any attention. I mean, it's the Black Bulls. They are pretty weird, you know. So yeah, this is a good way of introducing a new character.
I'm already looking forward to more. But what do you think? Give me your thoughts if you have any.